Just one month after an opinion authored by Associate Justice Samuel Alito against the constitutional right to abortion was leaked to the public, the Supreme Court formally overturned the landmark case. The decision will affect the reproductive rights of women across the country, as the legality of abortion will now be decided on a state by state basis. People across the world are outraged and saddened by the decision and many celebrities have given their statements in opposition. I'm Adam Andrews with Inform Overload and this is the top 10 celebrities speaking out against the Roe v Wade reversal. Number 10. Olivia Rodrigo While at the Glastonbury Festival, Olivia Rodrigo said to the crowd there that quote unquote, I'm devastated and terrified. So many women and so many girls are going to die because of this. But then she did a surprise duet with Lily Allen. She introduced Alan and the song they performed by saying, I want to dedicate this next song to the five members of the Supreme Court who have showed us that at the end of the day they truly don't give a sh about freedom. The song goes out to the justices Samuel Alito, Clarence Thomas, Neil Gorsuch, Amy Connie Barrett, Brett Kavanaugh. We hate you. And then the two went on to sing Lily Allen's song, F U. Nice. Number 9. Eddie Vedder During Pearl Jam's performance at the same Glastonbury Festival, especially on June 24th, Eddie Vedder asked fans to join them in supporting women's reproductive rights saying, No one, not the government, not politicians, not the Supreme Court should prevent access to abortion birth control and contraceptives. The frontman's speech was later shared via Pearl Jam's official Instagram page where they encouraged fans to text CHOICE to 855-812-VOTE or VOTE to make their voices heard. The band's post continued, people should have the freedom to choose. Today's decisions impact everyone and it will particularly affect poor women who can't afford to travel to access healthcare. We will stay active, we will not back down and we will never give up. Number 8. Phoebe Bridgers Phoebe Bridgers has been an outspoken advocate for reproductive rights. The 27 year old singer shared her own experience of having an abortion via Twitter, saying, I had an abortion in October of last year while I was on tour. I went to Planned Parenthood where they gave me the abortion pill. It was easy. Everyone deserves that kind of access. Yes, they really do. And in an interview with The Guardian that was published on Friday, the singer acknowledged the fact that, quote unquote, as a white upper middle class woman from California, even if it were to be overturned, I will always have access to an abortion. She added that the people with access will always have access. What pisses me off is that we're not talking about me. Highlighting the fact that those who are less fortunate will be the ones most affected by the Supreme Court's decision. Number 7. Taraji P. Henson While hosting the BET Awards 2022 at the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles, Empire star Taraji P. Henson used her opening monologue to speak out against the ruling. The 51 year old actor said, It's about time we step into our power. It's about time we talk about the fact that guns have more rights than a woman. It's a sad day in America. A weapon that can take lives has more power than a woman who can give life if she chooses to. It's about time I got that off my chest. Yeah. Enough said, right there. Number 6. Laura Prepon Days after the Supreme Court's decision, the That 70s Show alum, Laura Prepon, shared her experience with having an abortion, saying, quote, One of the worst days of my life was when I made the choice to terminate a pregnancy in the second trimester. She wrote via Instagram on June 27th, The devastating truth is that we found out the fetus would not survive to full term, and that my life was at risk as well. At the time, I had the choice. The New Jersey native added that she empathizes with anyone who's been faced with this impossible decision and is praying for all of us that we can get through this challenging time and regain agency over our own bodies. I think Laura's story paints a pretty clear picture of exactly why this decision by the Supreme Court is endangering its own citizens. Abortion is a medical right that every person should have safe and proper access to for their own health. Number 5. The Obamas Former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama both took to Twitter. President Obama tweeted in response to the news, Today the Supreme Court not only reversed nearly 50 years of precedent, it relegated the most intensely personal decisions someone can make to the whims of politicians and ideologues, attacking the essential freedoms of millions of Americans. He then attached a list of resources. His wife also took to social media saying, I am heartbroken that we may now be destined to learn the painful lessons of a time before Roe was made law of the land, a time when women risked losing their lives getting illegal abortions 
as part of a lengthy statement posted to Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. She continued, When we don't understand our history, we are doomed to repeat its mistakes. The former First Lady also then shared links to both Planned Parenthood and the United State of Women Reproductive Justice Hub for those wanting to take action. As two of the best communicators I have ever seen, there isn't much to add to what they both had said. Number 4. Lizzo On Friday, Lizzo shared a picture on Instagram of a protest sign that remixed her song About Damn Time. The sign read, In a minute, I'ma need a government man or woman to restore my rights, abortion is a human right. In the captions of her post she continued, Black women and women of color have historically had disproportionately less access to family planning resources. This is a great loss but not a new one. Lizza wrote in the caption, The singer also said she was pledging $500,000 from her upcoming tour to Planned Parenthood and the National Network of Abortion Funds. She noted that entertainment company Live Nation agreed to match the donation. Number 3. Seth MacFarlane Seth MacFarlane tweeted out a picture of a New York Times headline breaking the news on Friday. Not too long ago this would have been dystopian sci-fi, but the legacy of the 2016 election and the indelible mark of the GOP is printed here in black and white. He wrote, How much farther this will go once again depends on American voters. Blame extremism or apathy, but this is America. Unfortunately, he is not wrong. Number 2. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez Superstar Congresswoman AOC tweeted after the ruling, overturning Roe and outlawing abortion will never make them go away. It only makes them more dangerous, especially for the poor plus marginalized. She added, people will die because of this decision and we will never stop until abortion are restored in the United States of America. AOC also retweeted many resources for people to utilize and updates on protests for people to attend in order to stand against this decision. And this is one of the key reasons it was a horrible decision in the first place. They didn't stop people from having abortions, they stopped people from being able to do it with the help of medical professionals and proper resources. It's sickening how this decision will force women to find alternative, unsafe ways to do what should be a medically provided service. And lastly, at the number one spot, the legendary actor Danny DeVito tweeted out his thoughts on the matter on Friday. The actor gave us the very lengthy tweet, quote unquote, Supreme Court my a His tweet racked up 1.5 million favorites by Sunday, two days later, and that kind of sums it up, doesn't it? Alrighty guys, that's the list. I want to let you know before we sign off that in the description below we've included links to Planned Parenthood to help those in need and the United States of Women Reproductive Justice Hub for anyone wanting to support abortion and find further resources. Now this may not have been the most popular list of celebrities, but they all gave valid and important opinions or information. But what do you guys think? Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe here at Inform Overload. I've been your host, Adam Andrews. You can find my socials down below. And until next time, stay safe and well informed out there. Superstar Congresswoman, one more time, okay. Superstar Congresswoman Alexandria, or Okay, one more time after that, AOC, we'll just go with that. Superstar Congresswoman AOC tweeted after the rule. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe here at Inform Low. Don't forget to look Supreme Court's decision. Okay. Taraji P. Henson. Number seven, Taraji P. Henson. Eh? No, okay. I feel like it's gonna sneak up on me and I'm just gonna let it, okay, we're just gonna do it. Just one month after an opinion Just one month after an opinion authored by Associate Justice Samuel Alito